everybody what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode and on the channel today I'm going to be um, doing some companion planting using marigolds and spring onions and we're going to be planting them near our brassicas and some other um, um, some other vegetables we're going to be putting some marigolds next to our lettuce um, we are also going to be putting it next to our squash and a couple other um, bits and um, we're planting in some spring onions next to our brassicas, or so, uh, next to some of our brassicas. We won't worry about the ones under the mesh um, because they, they can't really, uh, because aphids and any other insects like that um, don't they can't get under there. And the spring, when the spring onions um, like start to get the like the onion grown they don't like the smell so it was so it was it's like a repellent like a mosquito repellent when you go on holiday you probably spray that to get mosquitoes away it's a bit like that but for um insects so this so this is the tray of marigolds that we sowed a few weeks ago and if i put that down we've got two pots beside me um so these ones are doing quite well did we multi sow in this pot i don't think so maybe yeah we did multi sow in this pot there's about three in there in that one and i think there's two in this one we're gonna have to try and split the ones in the pots out um but let's get companion planting so i've really started to dig the first hole and this is our no dig bed so i'm trying to, so we have got a shovel but we're trying to limit that using it as much as possible just because it is our no dig bed and instead of um separating them and disturbing the roots we're actually just going to plant the two together. So you can see how well these roots have developed and that's why I don't want to um, sort of split them and disturb the roots. So I'm just going to put that in there and then oh, hold it up and then I'm just going to surround around it. It's good English. Surround around it. Right. So that is number one. We'll probably do the next one uh, here. So yeah, so you can see the soil is uh, quite soft because I'm not using the shovel. So that's pretty good enough. Let me loosen another module. So this one's only got one in it. And the roots are quite well developed on this one, even though it is a single one. Um, so I'm just going to place that in there. Uh, cover it up. Well, not like cover it up. But it just covered it, cover its module. Uh, dig the next one about here. So we've got all the marrow. Well, we've got the marigolds around the uh, cucumbers now, and so we've got them about every foot or so. So we've got only we've got two there, um, and then we've got them all the way along to our herbs. Then we've got one uh, just behind our herb there. Um, so I'm just gonna go cut the tray um, here and bring it um, over to here and the, we're going to be putting them next to our squash so I'm just going to probably do that one this one here so the squash is starting to give the first signs of um, little flowers um, popping um, there so we'll hopefully have some flowers um, to do in the next garden update maybe uh, on Friday maybe if they might be um, they might be ready so I'm just gonna stand over here to put the next one in right. so I'm gonna take the next one out So we've got also I'm just getting this one into place now. Right, that's that one. So we've put the, uh, the we've put them around our squash now. Um so we're just going to find out where we put our tomato plant to plant in it um just in the corner of the square. So here's our tomato plant that we've got um outside. And I've just spotted the flower um, that my mum was talking about earlier. It's just, it is tucked in there. But it's just there. I think that was the one that she was talking about. Um, but I'm just going to dig the hole where our marigold is going to go. Alright, hopefully that's going to be deep enough. 
So I'm just going to loosen a module. Like so. Put it in. And then. Oh, it needs to be a little bit deeper. So I did dug the, or my dad dug the hole a little bit deeper. And so I am just going to cover it around like so. Right. So um, I'm just going to concern with my dad or where we need to put the next marigold. So we've got two squashes here and on one of them they're dead. You can see these starts of flower buds. So I'm just going to, so we're going to be putting uh, a marigold in this box here. So I'm just going to dig that out now. That should be deep enough. So let me just loosen up a pot. Place it in. And then cover it around. And I'm just going to push it down as well. Right. So we're going to also place one there. But I think my dad's going to have to do that one. Because it's a bit difficult for me to reach. I'm a, I'm a little bit short at the moment. Uh, so we're doing the, our marigolds next to our lettuce. And apparently they like... Um, my, the lettuce like marigolds because they keep away. I guess they keep away um just uh fly, um cabbage fries or whatever they keep away. So this ground is quite easy to dig. So I'm gonna do without falling over. I'm gonna take one out. Right, so that's that one. So um, you can see that we, we've got a little bit too much lettuce than what we can actually eat. So there's no harm in picking one off and eating it. So we've been having these in our sandwich quite, quite a few days in a row now. And, uh, you can see we've obviously sewed a carrot quite close. So I wonder how well that's going to do because obviously it's not getting too much light. Well, I'm, I'm going to finish eating this and then we'll be back. So we are going to be planting our spring onions, which is our second part of our companion planting. And we've already got some spring onions and leeks near our brassicas already. And we're not we're not um, just planting more for eating purposes. We're actually doing it because they do keep away aphids. So I'm just going to... Uh, well, there's the two brassicas, right. So I'm just going to dig two holes like so so I'm pretty good right take that big bit out right that should probably be, be deep enough so I'm gonna take out our uh, uh, module so we've multi sewn and I'm not worrying about um, just taking taking uh, splitting them because that will disturb the roots so there's one there um, so um we're gonna do the rest off camera because it's the exact same principles with the marigolds and i've got one more little tip on another sort of companion planting um that, like way so where it's not really another way it's more like another another sort of i'll explain to you more later and then we will wrap up the episode oh right i just finished putting the spring onions in and uh, so we put them all around, well, I've put them all around the outside. Um, uh, so we've got them around sort of the front, sort of, you can call it maybe like a right, uh, the front of right angle of the, uh, of our, of this bed. And the, the and this upstairs area where the, um, where we actually have grass might look a bit of a mess. It's getting desperate in need of a mow, but we're actually planning to put carpool down and put soil on top and bark and to create like a nice walkway um and maybe we'll also have some flowers on the outside and maybe we'll quite look make it look nice and my dad's just gonna go and get a watering can of well uh, our watering can fill it up and then we're just going to water and then i want to tell you something before we wrap up the episode so we realized we've got quite a lot of water in today if we're doing it by a watering can so we're do, just going to do it with the home and that means I can give everything else a little bit of a water while we're at it. Um, so I'm just 
so that and then I've already wanted that bit so if I was to start there and move it there and if I just see anything getting a bit of a need I'll just come into it um, so I'll just give everything a little bit of a home Um, I guess I'll get so I'm just spraying the back a little bit. Get them in the a little bit. Right. That should probably be good. So my dad's gonna go turn the tap on, and then so I'm gonna take a seat, and I want to tell you guys something, and then we will wrap up the video. So um, just before I wrap this video up, um, my well, I'm filming myself. Well, I've laid it somewhere, so um, I don't have to hold it. But um, so my dad's gone in to make a sort of a courgette uh, uh, lettuce salad um, for our dinner tonight that we freshly picked just a minute ago, which is on another video. Um, but um, the little bonus thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is that if you put basil next to your tomato plants, people, I, it's, it, people say that it actually gives the... Um, like the tomato like a a, 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 bu a basil flavor um but that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like share subscribe and as always uh don't forget to smash that notification bell so you're notified when i upload my brand new videos um but i hope you enjoyed today's grow your grow your imagination uploads and there's going to be two videos popping up now one is the um one is the big the first episode of the big plant out weekend and the second episode i don't have a favorite choice for this one because they're pretty much the same um but you can go check out whichever one you don't pick on my, the rest of my channel go check out the rest of my channel i will catch you all in the next one bye guys